Hey, it's KMA. How was your day today? Welcome to the corner. Oh, shaking the, the sleep out of my head. I wanted to give you guys an update because um, my life has been tumbling and uh, it has basically stopped tumbling. So I just want to let you guys know that things are looking up. So we're going to go back to the gallbladder surgery, which I had in March, and I was having massive um, problems with that coming back, and I was missing tons of days even after missing the initial six weeks from the surgery. That put us into a lot of financial problems that we've basically worked our way out of. So now that I'm on the medicine, if I have an issue with the whole gallbladder thing, it's not bad enough for me to miss work. I can go to work with mild upset stomach like anybody else can. So I'm not getting the severe stomach pains and stuff that was keeping me out of work. So the gallbladder surgery, everything that went with it is basically done with as long as I'm not sitting there eating tons of ice cream. <laughs> I love the ice cream. Pizza. Sorry. Yeah. Anything, you know, I can have a lot, uh, basically anything, but I just can't eat a lot of anything. So I understand that. So I, instead of having big meals, I just kind of pick out through the day and have mini meals through the day. And that seems to be working. So the gallbladder, my whole stomach issue is done. I don't have to worry about it. Issue number two, one of my best friends from work, somebody I hang out with on a regular basis, Sherry, uh, has terminal cancer and she's going to die in a few months. But she has such a great attitude with everything. Uh, we hang, we hung out on Monday, we had dinner, uh, we got everything out of um, the post office for her because I'm doing her route until it gets bid, which nobody wants her route because it's too big, so it's going to end up being my route most likely, which is a good thing. Um, <clears throat> it's the route I've been doing whenever she's sick, but her frame of mind is so positive and she's not going to be doing treatment, she's this... She wants quality of life, not quantity of life. And I've come to terms with that. She has come to terms with that. <clears throat> I still see her on a regular basis. And it's going to be tough when she starts deteriorating. But overall, that situation, <clears throat> I have come to the acceptance of it. And I'm pretty good with it. It's going to be tough when it comes time for when she passes away and I have to go to the funeral. But overall... That situation has um, become a lot better in my mind, and it's not throwing me for a loop. Now, my mom, <clears throat> you found out a few weeks ago, she, or last week, she tried to commit suicide. Again, um, her thing is she likes to take, she has anxiety, she has ADHD, she's on a lot of meds. And some of these meds are, you, if you overtake them, you die. She knows that. <clears throat> As she used to work in a volunteer in a suicide hotline. Excuse my voice. It seems cracking for some reason. Um, <clears throat> but what put her over the edge was my dad's been in the hospital for a couple of months and she was getting really lonely. She never really came out and asked for help. And um, my relationship with my parents is normally I call them 10, 15, 20 times before I get a response from them. So basically I, I gave up calling for calling them <clears throat> because I knew I was never going to get a response. Then I got this, you know, hyper hysterical mother on the phone freaking out. And so now I go over to her house every single day after work. I clean up, I cook her some dinner, I hang out with her. I make sure she knows that she's not alone because that was the problem. She's now taking her meds again which kind of evens her out and makes her less depressed. And so she's doing really well, considering. And in a month or so, they're going to be moving in with my sister in Pennsylvania. So um, I won't have to keep taking care of her every day. Um, my relationship with my parents are very strange. But I am glad to help uh, when they really need the help, even though they were never really there for me. Uh, it just kind of helps me out because I've always wanted to make up for being such a jerk when I was a teenager because I was not a good kid. And now that I'm taking care of her every day, it kind of feels good. And she's very happy. My dad can't praise me enough right now for going over there and helping her out every day. So she's on the right path. So, so far, everything is getting out of the slums. But... <clears throat> I uh, hurt my back. I actually have uh, broken 
bones in the lower back. I have SI joint dysfunction, which is very painful. And I'm on a lot of drugs and I'm supposed to take cortisone shots every week or so into the back, um, which is a lovely feeling, by the way. Um, but I have figured out what was causing it. And it was something I was doing at work, which is basically I deliver mail to high rise buildings um, on the ocean. And we put them in the mail in tubs. And sometimes these tubs can be 40, 50 pounds. And what I do is I just throw it over my shoulder and walk into the building like this. And with the 40, 50 pounds on 13 or 14 different high rises six days a week, with the mail on my shoulder, was putting undue stress on the left side of my vertebrae. And that's where the bone was rubbed off and the broken bone fragments are. And so I've been holding the tubs in front of me like a normal person instead of being a macho. Put it on my shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> so the um, basic vertebrae, instead of being bent a little bit with a lot of weight on it, is now structurally up and down. And so I haven't really had the flare-ups the last three days since I've been working, which is the longest I've gone without a flare-up since I've hurt my back. So I think I have my back pain figured out. So that means gallbladder surgery done. Sherry is um, the cancer kind of, you know, whatever. Uh, my mom seems to be on the right path, and I'm going to be spending lots of time with her, which is awesome. Um, and my back seems to be, I think I have figured it out, so I don't think I'll have any more flare-ups, which means no more missing work. So now <clears throat> we are still trying to catch up with bills. I just sent my um, landlord an email. He wants to have a, be out here with the sheriff to lock us out on Saturday, and hopefully he will take my offer to wait till the following Friday um, for the pay for rent. And knowing him, he will, he will probably take that, especially now that he knows that I'm taking control of all the finances here. Um, and I'm Capricorn. I have everything organized. I know exactly what to pay and how much we can spend and stuff. And before, I kind of had it in Stacy's hands and kind of trusted her. And she wasn't as concise as I was with stuff. And I kind of knew that. And I kind of... I kind of put it on her so I wouldn't have to take responsibility for it. I would say, well, finances, look at her. That's not my fault. So now I'm taking it over. I'm going to make sure everything's okay. And if the landlord accepts our thing, we should be A-OK. -okay. But um, so everything seems to be coming out of the doldrums, which is cool, which is really cool. But my time is still going to be very minimal until November 12th. So... I said initially I think I can <clears throat> record videos in the morning before I go to work and stream on Sundays. Well, I'm not gonna, I haven't been able to record videos in the morning anymore because uh, seeing that everybody's coming down from up north because I'm in, um, what do they call it, snowbird heaven, um, the route takes a lot longer to deliver now. So I'm going into work a little bit earlier. So I haven't been recording any videos in the morning except for something like this which is basically a one take and let's go and see what happens. Um, but on November 12th, I will start doing the videos again. I'm not going to push myself to do videos. Um, so I guess I'm taking a break from YouTube, which is good because it's been a couple of years since I've taken a real break from YouTube. And, but I will still try and stream on Sundays and I'll upload those videos on, uh, onto YouTube, I guess. Hey, Gordy, what's going on over there? Sounds like my cat is like, I don't know what my cat's doing. He's singing to the wind or something. Um, oh, they're fighting. <laughs> That's what's going on. So everything is looking good. Hopefully I'll get myself out of this. 2016 has been the worst year of my life. Even though some of the best things have happened, some of the worst things have happened also. And it looks like we are finally climbing out of the hole. But I'm still going to be asking for donations in the streams just because we are still financially in up shit's creek. But I don't see that lasting too much longer. But it would be nice to be able to give my landlord um, the money when he wants it instead of having to deal with the sheriff on Saturday. That's not going to be fun. But <clears throat> I'm not too worried about it because he's helped us out a lot in the past. And I think he will help us out now, especially seeing he's seen the progression of the hole that we dug and how we came out of it and we've caught up with him 
and we were like three months behind going through the summer. So, um, like I say, streams on Sunday, I will upload those um, to YouTube, but other than that, you won't really see me online too much, because I'll be busy as a mother. Um, and the donations will still be there. And I would like to say, and I know this looks really cheesy, on, on when I stream, I have like a top donation, and it says anonymous $100. And if I saw that, then I saw the trailing thing, and there was a couple of people who gave approximately ten dollars. I would say, well, this guy made up the hundred dollar um, anonymous thing. But one of my friends from the past actually donated in that particular stream where I was trying to raise money to pay an electric bill, and he did actually donate a hundred dollars, which was really, really, really cool. It covered with that and the other two donations that I had received that day. It covered almost half of our electric bill which basically means that I we got lights and I can record this video and stuff so I really 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 appreciate the people that have helped me and especially this dude which I know who he is but I'm not supposed to say so um <clears throat> streams Sunday mornings is basically when you will see me on the internet and other than saying hi and stuff on Twitter and stuff but everything is going much better than it was before, if I was going to, it's been this tough, 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 tough freaking summer. And I feel bad that I kind of have met a whole group, new group community and has basically thrown this in their face and said, hey, you know, I'm going through all this other crap. I'm not feeling good. I'm looking for support. It's almost like I uh, am a drama queen, which I really ain't. But this situation was really bad, but it seems like it's going good now. So uh, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Hey, you know, life has been sucky for me for a while, but guess what? It's not sucking so bad now. So I'm getting happy and I might become the person I was before. So watch out. A happy Keith is coming. A very happy Keith. Okay. So, um... Thanks for watching this. Thanks for all the support. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys Sunday mornings, Eastern times, probably 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. Depends on when I get up. I'll be doing Pillow Fort or whatever. And um, I'll be determining a mode of action for when I get back into YouTube and stuff. And see if uh, I can change things up. Because ultimately, yes, I don't want to work for a living. I want to make content for YouTube and Twitch and do that for a living. So I hope you can help me with this journey and support me and be there to uh, kind of support me if things go bad. <laughs> so have a great day, everybody. Um, I'm happy to say things are finally getting good and um, look forward to new content in mid-November. Bye-bye.